Hi all. Let's see how we can make custom make and manage customer receipts when we are receiving payments from the customers for their statement of account when the credit invoices are happening. So we know how to make invoices. We have a detailed video to how to make invoices which is credit or cash anything. So in particular if the invoices are credit the customer receipt will come. They will pay you. So from the Infocet accounting software, let's see how we can manage all these things. Let's have a brief idea how we can make the customer accounts and make one sample invoice. And then according to that, we will uh, play around for making customer receipt. There is master and customer master where we can create our customer with all the details of the customer for example to with the details address anyway we will prepare all the details uh, we have a detailed video on this also now selecting this option fill pending records in customer receipt will help you to manage the receipts easily invoice by invoice and we select this option and save the customer account we have one sample customer account now now we can create one sample invoice for the customer we will open this facility and we will choose credit and we will choose the customer account the ledger account for the customer and we will start choosing materials enter the quantity enter the rate and click down it will come in and repeat this process for each item that we know we have one detailed video on this anyway we can save this invoice as a credit invoice save so we have one invoice as credit for the customer on 8th december 2021 let's see how the statement of account is working now we have customer ledger here open and choose the customer sample customer 2 we will choose the customer account and choose the period of uh, statement for one month or up to the date and then just print it will show the customer account as default we can align and put up the letterhead for the customer according to their idea now this is how the customer statement print is coming by default the line number and everything is there the voucher number the narration is coming and there is one invoice now we have prepared for this customer so the closing balance is 2300 okay now let's make one more uh, invoice for this customer we have a purpose with uh, two invoices i will show you how we can make uh, partial receipt and complete receipt for that we will make one more invoice for this customer For the sample customer too and then save so we have two invoices now credit for the sample customer too now we know how to make uh, get the customer statement let's see how we can make customer receipt we will go to customer uh, accounts and customer receipt this is the window where we can uh, generate and keep records of customer receipt the document number is automatically coming and the date is there you can choose from for example on 10th of december that customer sample customer 2 so we will choose the customer first that's the first step once you choose the customer automatically the pending invoices will load over here that's why we have enabled this facility inside the customer master for that particular customer we have the, in, in, enabled this facility to load pending invoices so we have loaded the pending invoices here there are two invoices for this customer uh, on date of 8th december 2021 so let's see how we can receive the payment for one invoice in total invoice by invoice so we have these options here the date you can choose from and the rv number the manual receipt voucher number you can record over here 
and the payment mode choose the payment mode over here cash check or transfer anything and then we will choose this option invoice wise and then start choosing the invoices for example if they if he is closing both of these invoices you can just tick and tick whatever invoices whichever invoices is closing you can tick 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 automatically uh, the total amount will come time being we will choose only one invoice he is going to uh, pay for this invoice completely so we have the total automatically coming and then we can narrate whatever it is needed you can narrate over here uh, and then save the voucher for saving the voucher we will press the print preview if needed and then save the voucher and you can open the previous to see the previous uh, recorded receipt and then print it this is the default format for the receipt voucher we have designed if it is needed to rework we can realign this according to the idea for the customer anyway this is how we will receive the payment from the customer and this will be recorded there in the statement we will again open back the statement choose the customer choose the period of statement and then print it it will show the receipt over here see we have one invoice we have received the payment and the total balance is now for the next invoice which is 230 only the closing balance okay now let's see how we can receive some payment partially for an invoice again we will go to the customer receipt we will open this one and the first step is to choose the customer and uh, we will choose invoice wise as it is uh, the last time also we'll choose invoice wise and choose the date of invoice uh, the receipt and choose the method of uh, receipt and start choosing the record by taking this now see it's loaded over here but he is going to pay only 100 real what we will do we will double click on the chosen voucher ticked voucher double click and the default amount will come over here receive amount we can edit this to what we are receiving and then we can narrate over each record why we are receiving the like partial narrate it and then press the refresh i will show it again double click on the voucher enter the remove the default amount and enter the what you are receiving enter the narration if it is needed and refresh back so you will get the record details pending amount is this we have received this and we have narrated and the balance is here and the easy process we can save the voucher which will be recorded now again i will show you one thing sample customer 2 there is one pending balance 130 real for this voucher only the pending balance is that the rest is we we had received so uh, like this when we receive partially until the payment completely received for that invoice that invoice will show up here up to that uh, balance re uh, receivable again we will go to the statement of account and then we will choose the customer to and choose the period and then print it will show the two receipts over here for example uh, the 2300 is closed here for the 230 we have received 100 real and the balance is 130 like this you can manage your customer receipts and the statement of account on behalf of credit invoices generated for your customers and there are some other reports we'll go to the report module and open the customer reports there is customer summary this will show you the receivable balance for each one single customer in total as a customer re receivable balance report segregated by each customers which who had who have the balances to pay as total the statement of account we have already seen the the one we have uh, already demonstrated the customer ledger and there is also another reports for the customer wise pending invoices to show and see which are the pending invoices left 
and the register report for the receipts uh, made for one single customer. So this report will be helpful for managing your records of uh, credit invoices. This is how we will generate customer receipts according to the generated invoices. Now we will show one more option in our system to make advanced receipts. For that we will open the customer receipt. When the advance is receiving from the customer, we will choose first the customer from whom we are getting the advances. And then if the, you have uh, generated anything manual RV number, you can enter the code number here, the voucher number here, and then tick advance. Just tick advance only and then enter the amount of advance. For example, if he is paying 5000 real in advance and then just narrate it if it is needed. And the method of payment uh, received, cash or bank or anything, saved. That's all. There is no uh, needed for uh, selecting records, nothing. Because this is advanced. There is no voucher against it. So it's advanced voucher we have generated. Anyway, after generating the advanced voucher, when the invoice uh, gets generated uh, on behalf of that receipt, we can easily allocate that voucher to the invoice from the invoice window itself. We will open the invoice window. We will open the invoice window and choose credit. And we will choose the customer over here. If the bill type is credit, automatically one option is enabled here. Receipt voucher numbers. If the bill type is credit only. See, when I make it cash, it is deactivated. And it is credit only it will be activated okay now we will prepare one sample invoice for this customer to show how we can allocate the receipt now see one uh, 200 quantities or uh, 2000 quantities anything sorry the rate uh, 200 real 100 quantities anything Okay, for time being like this and then just press as we all know how to make the invoices we will prepare so we have one total balance for 2300 real for this invoice now we will click and open this facility now see there is one voucher number here one voucher number here i mean voucher uh, uh, 1600 uh, 1006 yes the total is 5000 the advanced balance that we have received so we can just tick on this voucher and this will be received from see uh, the received amount is 2000 real according to this invoice and then just press ok and then save it that's it it will be recorded in that voucher for example save this invoice Now we have received 2300 uh, real according to this invoice in that advanced voucher. Advanced voucher. When we open this window and see this now, that advanced voucher have one record automatically generated here 2300 real. So that is automatically allocated to this voucher. That invoice is automatically allocated to this voucher easily. It's an easy process when we are. Uh, managing advance vouchers and invoices against the advances. We can keep a uh, record of advances, receipts by first of all generating invoice and making receipts or first of all generating advance receipt and making invoices after. All these facilities can be easily managed by using this uh, window, customer receipt window. That's it. Any uh, any clarifications needed you can contact us we will have a uh, detailed guidances when we are uh, engaging our customers we will introduce an another video for making payments for the suppliers there is payment voucher 
and uh, purchases credit purchases from the suppliers is uh, will be the same stencils as per the customer receipt the method will be the same but we will have one detailed uh, video on credit purchases and supplier payments also okay this is how we will manage the receipts from the customers and to record and keep manage uh, keep and manage the uh, customer statements thank you for watching